Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel genomart study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos i have received many emails text and comments that the day that the viewers have some difficulties in using the phytosome version 13 before previous that i made the videos that were on version 12 so by using phytosome version 13 how we can download our sequences from our uh, studied plants genome so how to do let's start open your browser any that was you are using google or anyone and then write phytosome in a search bar and click so then you will see this link open this first link so first by downloading uh, uh, sequences of a whole family so first you need to log in here so click on login if you are new user then go to register and then follow the step and register yourself if you have already registered and have the account then use this your account and sign in then you need to take the curie protein sequence of your family for example i am going to study a family so i need to find the curie protein how to find this curie protein you must follow our lecture one so this is my family genes curie protein i copy it and then from here go to tool select blast and then here you need to here enter one or more dna or protein sequences paste your sequence here you can find your uh, organism on which you want to study your gene for example i want to study in the family this family in my um, uh, glycine max so here i write here glycine max and then here select the proteome and click go here i found these transcripts which number of transcripts are gene so you need to select all and uh, then here use add to cart so here 61 items added then you go to this is your cart click on this cart and here you see your all transcripts or gene details if you need this table then select this table and click here download as gene or specific uh, transcripts here you can select gene and go now here click on attributes click to specify when you click here first comes that here from here you need to click sequences so what type of sequence you need first you need peptide sequence or protein sequence so select this protein sequence or peptide sequence and click on result here you see the peptide sequence of all your genes and these here from here you can select the format that is faster and here is the only 10 sequence but you need to select all so here you need to select all copy 
and go to the folder where you need to save your sequences here you can write the name protein seek and paste so these are the protein sequences of all your genes now we need the the cds sequences or genomic sequences then also click again uh, attributes sequences and then select your unspliced gene unspliced gene means your whole gene genome sequence of your gene genome sequence of your gene that is unspliced or before uh, transcription so select this and then go to result from here select all and these are your genomic sequence or unspliced sequence of your genes so select all copy and go to the folder and sorry open the text file write genome seek and paste save it so these are all the genome sequence of your gene now you need the cds sequences so attribute click specify and cdna sequence and result here you need to all select all copy and uh, dna sequence or complementary dna sequence and save here are also other sequences like uh, unspliced transcript or gene you can also download these sequences in this way any sequence that you want other is you need uh, promoter regions that was upstream of your gene so here click the upstream and how much region you need that was is 1000 or 1500 anyone you need so you write here 1000 upstream region means promoter region or 1500 right here that figure and then go to result this is your promoter region or upstream region of your gene select all and select all copy then make the file promoter region and paste it save these are some header information of genes like uh, Uh, that organism name gene name chromosome name that uh, that gene is located on which chromosome it's a description gene start and add position strand uh, are negative or positive and uh, this one is the uh, ids different uh, the transcripts or uh, uh, peptide names here you can also uh, it's a uh, gene structure like uh, exon start and uh, these information if you need so you can select them here are the annotation uh, of each gene in different uh, uh, databases like uh, what is the annotation of these genes in pfam 
or it's a pfam description go path will kegg so the, you can if you need these data so you can select them and then go to the result so here you can select uh, here you can see this is the information with uh, this gene so i think here is not suitable you can select this structure and then need this information that organism name gene name chromosome name its description gene start and position strand peptide name and transcript start and by spheres and here if you need uh, some exon information and then go to results and this is a tsv file so here all and then you can select all copy and here you need a excel sheet here you can say data detail and paste it so here you can see all information of your genes or you can also text document so in the form of text text document you can save it in at any of your uh, folder or here you can also change the file format like uh, csv file better to save it in csv file so here select all copy and then you need to paste it or directly you can save it as save as here is the in your data sheet and save it now if you need other uh, information like uh, the features of your gene that uh, organism name proteome id description this is uh, also the same or uh, the annotations in different uh, databases that pfam and then select results these are description and pfam this is uh, that uh, uh, id of this pfam then you can also download them other is uh, here are other is uh, orthologs if uh, you need the orthologs of uh, these genes in any other organism like uh, i want the orthologs of these genes in arabidopsis so i select here the uh, arabidopsis and then results so these genes have the orthologs in arabidopsis like these so select all so these all genes have the orthologs of arabidopsis here these are the orthologs in arabidopsis of this gene so you can also copy them and then uh, paste it or save it in the your file other one is expression that expression of these genes you can say in any organism or expression here is if you want to co-expression and then select 
Yeah, these are the tissue sample. These are the expression of these genes. And then select all. And these are the clause. This is the version. And these are the expression of these genes. So, in this way, you can use the Phytosome version 13 and get your data in one click. Or you can also save this uh, uh, your data in Excel sheet as well. For example, here I am selecting this structure and I want this type of data like organism name, gene name, chromosome, strand in excel sheet so i select these and then results and from here uh, in results i want to select 50 or uh, 100 any so or uh, any more whatever i have so here from here i select this xls version because i need this type of data in excel sheet and then click on go so it will automatically download it in your uh, folder. So then open this file. So you will have this uh, data in your Excel sheet like uh, here is gene name, this is the chromosome, transcript ID name, organism name, this is the description, this is the gene start and add and positions, this is strand, negative or positive. This is peptide name and uh, this is a transcript start and position. So this is uh, this type of data you can also get in one click. So this is uh, all about the version 13, uh, Phytosome version 13 and uh, how to download your uh, family, whole family sequences from peptide or uh, genomic or CDS or uh, promoter and also other related data. Hopefully this will help you. Thank you.